Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel. We're doing your last of the weeklies. This is your 22 to the 31st. Um, the weeklies are different, so we know that there's going to be two situations over here. You or whoever you're dealing with will see one person here. Extended will see how they're going to be responding and will marry the situation. Two decks, two tarot, one card of C. Shall we begin, Capricorn? Here we go. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is for the Capricorn. Let's see. Here we go. Here we go. Let's begin. What? What happened? You have a Sag in you? I can't even say it. This is their first card. Ugh. Oh, three of Swords. What happened? Heartache, heart broken. Uh, don't know what to do. Being shameful of things. You know why? Why did it go wrong? Why we didn't understand each other? Now we're breaking up. You know, it's not because it's a three. It's third party. It also is an energy where okay, we're breaking up because we don't agree. Because this is uh, this is the energy before you go to the five swords or the five swords and then go here. Okay, that's the two of swords. What happened? Let me see here the other person. Nine of cups. They want to keep their himself to being single, non-committal. I feel because this is what this is. I feel like where you guys. Um, disagree. It's not about wish granted. They like their drink. They like their party. They like the crowd. You know, I'm single. I want to be this. And then for you, then why? You know, why did you get involved with me? If you like your freedom, you know, this is this kind of confusing energy that you have with this person. It's like, I don't understand you. You keep me around for fun, nine of cups, and then you don't basically don't make a move. Meaning, with regards to commitment. And the cups enjoys their fun side. Okay. Let me see underneath the three of swords. Got a wheel of fortune. Jupiter can be there far from you. Acquire source here. Scorpio faith. Okay. I feel that. There's an energy between the two of you that you don't see it right now, but it's for the good. I'm not sure why, but they're saying because the three of swords is always supposed to be the downside of it. And then there's going to be something good coming here. You won't see it now. You're going to go through the ringer with the three of swords. You're going to feel like, oh my God, you know, with the will of fortune. You will be, okay? Especially with the Wheel of Fortune. Things are gonna go up at some point here. Let me see. The Sun card. Okay. What's this? Is this how go how up it goes? Because it goes up. So has this breaking apart convinced the other person? Because the wind and the for the sun is very positive. So could it be that they have changed their mind? I feel like someone is changing their mind over here. The sun card the sun card is about giving someone joy and happiness. It extends himself. With the will of fortune, you did well, I didn't see it coming, that's true then. Oh. <laughs> because look at me, it's like something you won't see coming. And then a sun card? <laughs> yeah, I didn't see that. So this person will realize, okay, can be enlightened, okay. They will be enlightened about how they treated you with the Wheel of Fortune. It goes well. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. Nine of Pentacles. Out of misery, here comes you also. It's almost like you guys are mirroring each other. Meaning, oh, you like to have fun, then I'll keep myself available also. Nine of Pentacles. And then here comes the chase with the sun card. I feel like gonna go after you. Two of Pentacles, yep. Now they wanna build with you instead of giving you pain 
with the Three of Swords, they're going to give you, well, I'm learning. Um, you know, how do I understand what happened? Da, 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 da. This is them trying to work it out with you. First, they break you. Now, they make you. Mm -hmm. What is this kind of person that you're dealing with? Let me see here. Are the tarot saying? Got the seven of one, so they don't come easy. I mean, you don't allow this person easy. You're, you know, you're restricting them. You know, after you have built yourself over here, you're not just gonna welcome their energy. You got a strength card. Um, you have endured. You probably have a Sag in your chart because the Sag just got this also in the same part. The strength card over here. Because you will restrict them, you might block them, you might call them out, meaning it's like stop right there, you know. But what is this three of cups? If you're dealing with a Leo, okay, I feel like one, they're trying to be honest with you, they're restricting themselves from talking to other people here. If there, someone is trying to be honest here. Because the strength card is like, you know, there can be other people tempting them, seven of ones, like, no, I'm committed to someone, but this can be you already, Capricorn. Let me see what the cartomancy is saying. Get a five of hearts, four of hearts, two of spades. You have to choose. Because this person will offer to reconcile with you. After they like, they did, they say, they did say here, nine of hearts, nine of cups, that... They're non committal. They don't like they don't like but they're here with you trying to commit. So that's a poly piece right here. Very, very much. You're gonna be very puzzled. Because how can that happen? You know? Well, because it's a you know, the tide has turned. Wheel of Fortune has turned. It has turned already. So it's coming to your favor, which is good. You just didn't see it coming. But we'll see then, okay? So Capricorn is 22 to the 23. We'll see how this person responds. We'll see how the energies mix in extended read. Link down there in the description box for everything. Also check this, check this little nugget over there because this one comes with free extended. I'll see you guys again. Bye Capricorn. Almost 10 years ago, I was diagnosed with a rare disease. Everyone was certain I was going to die. That's when I realized that healing and hope won't come from chemicals mixed in any lab. And I needed something much bigger to make me better. Glamour Box is my way of reminding everyone, you have a beautiful soul and a glamorous life. Live it to the fullest and brace yourself because the best is yet to come.